everybody. It's new, new, and I am your friendly teacher guide. My purpose in this video is to provide an overview of the essays that you will write during this semester in this English 101 class, and I will be using essay one as an example. Le tengo que decir algo. I have to tell you something. All right, so let's scroll down and let's look at the directions. We can see that they're very detailed, very helpful, and I'm not going to read the directions to you in this video. I'm going to ask you to read them on your own all the way down from beginning uh, to end. In this video, I will simply point out key pieces of information to remember about the essay. Before I do so, however, I wanted to point out that in home, you have a YouTube closed captioned video about the immersive reader. It is right here. The immersive reader is a canvas tool that will read the text on the screen for you if you are having difficulty reading it. And my big joke, <laughs> I uh, tell people this in every video, is that I'm visually impaired. I'm uh, a woman with glasses, and when I misplace these glasses, I've been known to use the immersive reader. So definitely use it. Uh, learn how to use it with this video uh, if you have uh, difficulty reading the text. And I wanted to point out that the closed captioning can be activated if you click on CC at the bottom of the video. All right, back to the directions. What are the key pieces of information that I wanted to point out to you? Uh, first is this requirement. No inappropriate help from artificial intelligence, AI, chatbot, uh, chatbot, is that what it's called? Chat, GPT, Quillbot, all the bots out there. Do not use them to write or rewrite uh, this essay um, because that is inappropriate. And it's inappropriate because I won't be able to help you to improve your writing skills if I'm reading what an AI wrote and not what you wrote. However, please use AI appropriately. For example, you can use Grammarly.com to help you to identify and correct any easily avoidable errors in grammar, punctuation, or spelling. Uh, that is completely appropriate, and I hope you will use an AI like Grammarly.com in that way, uh, and definitely proofread your essay. Now, um, I did want to point out, too, that essay directions here have a deadline. The essay is due by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, uh, the very last day of, uh, the very last day, the very last minute of Saturday to give you the maximum amount of time, uh, especially if you work during the week. This is why I have this deadline pushed back to Saturday. And we also have peer evaluations, two of them, that are due by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. Now, Please don't wing it with the peer evaluations. They are very structured, very specific. Uh, so click on this link here and learn how to evaluate uh, an essay. You will be answering nine questions. Now, one other uh, point that I did want to make to you uh, is this grading timeline right here that we will be following. You will learn all about this grading timeline, or you will have learned about it already uh, through the syllabus quiz. Uh, so pay attention to this grading timeline um, when you submit your essay, your peer evaluations, when I return your essay to you within one week after the assignment closes, and when you respond to my evaluation of your essay and to peer evaluations. It's all there, uh, all the way down to the last bit of information, which is when I post your grade uh, over here in grades. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, I'm over here in inbox. I answer emails very rapidly, except on weekends. Sometimes I may take longer until Monday, particularly if I am evaluating a lot of assignments from uh, the several classes that I teach. Now, something I also wanted to point out to you, and it's here in home, is my office hours. How do you know when I Zoom? Well, come over here to this office hours icon click on it and learn my Zoom hours. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. I am Nunu, your friendly teacher guide, and I want your success in this class, and I look forward to working with you.